Welcome back, friends, and we get to watch paint dry! Yay! Uh, well, sort of. <laughs> Thanks for following along. I hope you enjoy. Well, welcome back. It's the next day, or actually two days later. The uh, glue has dried, and I went to pick up some paint, and um, I found one that I think is going to match. We'll see. It's a standard rattle, plan, rattle can paint. Um, I'm just going to spray a little test area and see whether it matches. Because this spot, part here, nobody sees. It kind goes over it. So, let's give it a shot and see what happens. Pardon me while I bring you closer in. I've been shaking this for about uh, yeah, 10 minutes now. So let's we'll see what happens. I think it's too dark. As a matter of fact, yeah, it's way too dark. Dark and gray. Okay. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to buy light gray because that's too dark. Not sure what I'm going to use this for. I'm sure I'll find a use for it, but not here. I'll be back. Two hours later. Well, um, I'm back. <laughs> you know, this. Uh, you remember the fairy tale of the uh, three bears and Goldilocks and, you know, this one's too hot, this one's too cold, this one's just right, this is too soft, too hard, just right, you know, all that. Well, when it comes to matching the paint on this, this one's too dark, this one's too light, And this one's just right. Now let me show you, sort of. It's, uh, we'll see how it turns out once it dries, but it went on, oops, whoa, what did I do there? It went on quite well. Uh, you can't really tell from this angle. I don't think you can. I don't know, it's kind of turning white, actually. Not sure what's going on there. Try a little more. Maybe it was, you know, I shook it a lot. All right. Honestly, other than the the overspray, um, it says it's supposed to look like aluminum. Um, and let me move the camera and get you guys all dizzy again. Uh, I think it'll work. I don't know. Let's see what happens when it dries. Uh, after I put the first coat on, we'll see. It still might not be right. There was another one that was just a little darker than this, but not as dark as this. And this one was way too light. So, trying to match, or like I said earlier, if I can't match it, I'm going to go for contrast and I'll just paint it black. Okay. So, now, here's the second uh, problem, sort of. Uh, I'm not an artistic kind of guy. Uh, I'm, I'm a nuts and bolts uh, kind of guy. Uh, give me something mechanical, I can make it work. Give me something electrical, I can make it work. Electronic, I can make it work. Um, Two very boring minutes later. So, um, I'm going to tape that off. Uh, it's a round doily with, with the, the zigzag, the um, edges, the pinking, I think they call it. Uh, so it doesn't fray. And uh, But it's a circle. Now, um, taping a circle 
So I was thinking about the, how I'm going to go about that, and uh, I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you as I'm doing it. Um, as I tape it up, it's not going to be a circle. It's going to be more, uh, well, it won't be an octagon. We'll probably have more sides than that. Uh, we'll have probably double to that, those 16 sides. So is that a septagon? I don't know. In the comments below, let me know what that is. And I sure hope I'm not cutting my head off because I'm still learning where the field of view of this camera is. Sometimes it's pretty wide. Um, Just then. Yeah, so there we go. And that paint is drying and it is looking more and more like aluminum than it does gray. I had hopes. Oh, it says on here metallic and aluminum. But when I first spray it on there, it matches almost exactly to the paint that's on. And now that it's drying, it don't match. Not even close. It's a good thing these are only like nine bucks a piece, but already I'm into three of them. You know, so with taxes and everything else, it's only like 30 bucks in paint that I'll never use. Anybody want some paint? <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to stop the recording here. Oh, you know what? I don't want to do this again. But I'm going to go and get that last can that I was thinking of. And we'll try that. Um, and I'm also going to buy a gloss black at the same time. Because I'm not driving back to Portland with this. Is a, I, I, I've uh, made the trip um, three times now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Three times I've gone. I've left here. When I arrived and uh, left and whatever. Uh, yeah. It's drying and it, it doesn't match. Not even close. Even in this bad lighting inside here, you can tell it doesn't match. Even close. It would stick out like a sore thumb. So if it's going to stick out like a sore thumb, it might as well be a black or red, or something else. Uh, nothing looks worse than, you can say, hey, that's a nice painting there, but it doesn't quite match. You know, that's more noticeable if people criticize that more than if you went to complete contrast. So I'm going to go get that one that's a little bit darker than this, but not as dark as the darkest one. And I'm also going to get a black, or maybe red. I'm talking about going with red. I'll decide that when I'm standing in front of the paints. I'll make that command decision. Sorry, I'm not going to take you guys long. Um, apparently the stores aren't very friendly with people carrying cameras around filming everything, you know, privacy issues or something, which is a bogus thing. But no, well, maybe it's not bogus. I guess it depends, you know. You could have somebody who's on a witness protection program there shopping at that store going, oh, no, now the now the mobs know where I live. So, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, so I'm going to shut this off, and I'll turn it back on, and we'll all be part of the same video, because, yeah, this is the I'm painting the wings, or the holes in the wings video, and trying to match paint. And then we can sit and watch the paint dry. Won't that be fun? Okay, enough. Uh, I'll, I'll be back. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hi. I'm back. <laughs> uh, you know, I made the command decision. The, the tough decisions. Uh, I'm, I'm known for making tough decisions. I went with red. <laughs> um, but I... Um, I pushed the record, like up top here, and I didn't look to see if the little light was flashing. So I missed some recording. Sorry, apologize. Uh, you didn't really miss much. It was painting and, and taping. So let me show you what I've done. Um, I, uh, I taped up and masked off and, and what have you, and I painted the first coat of uh, red on both sides. So 
take a wander back here. And there we go. So that's the first coat. It's a light coat. Because um, I don't want any drips or hangers, that kind of stuff. I mean, it, it's not perfect. It's never going to be perfect. But I don't want imperfection on top of imperfection on top of another imperfection. So, you know, got to kind of mitigate those things. So, um, yeah, first coat is on and uh, drying. Um, I actually didn't read the instructions. Does anybody ever read the instructions? No. No, we're guys. We know what to do. It just kind of, we absorb it in our brain from as kids. Don't tell me what to do. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, okay, I'll confess I do read the instructions. So I've painted those, and I also painted the covers. Um, and they're both painted red. And uh, that's probably only going to take one coat because they're laying flat down. I went a little too heavy on them. Eh, they're probably going to take an hour to dry. This is supposed to be fast drying. The color is apple red. Nice. Now, I didn't tape it in a circle. It's a straight piece of tape and bending it in a circle. And like I said before, I ain't artistic. So I made it a septagon. I think that's what it is. Um, 16-sided, which looks almost like a circle, but it won't be if you look up close. And at some point, you've got to say uh, enough. There's certain things that need to be done to perfection with an aircraft. And um, painting them is not one of them. Oop, too close. You're looking at my nostril there. Oh. Uh, at least in my opinion. Now the paint has got to look good, uh, but the paint's primary purpose is to protect the fabric from the elements and, uh, and to make it stand out, to make it look good. You want it to look good. You don't want it to look like, a, you know, somebody threw paint on it from, uh, you know, 10 feet away from, you know, with one gallon of paint cans. Of course, that might actually look good. A splash paint job, you get a couple of people with one quart, different colors, and you, nah. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, you could do it with the greens and blacks and, and olive drabs and, uh, and shades and stuff like that, some browns in there, and make it look like it was, no. Of course, you never know when I have to recover this thing. Maybe that's how I'm going to paint it. Give it its base coats and give it its primer, and then uh, uh, one coat of something you know, on the bottom, uh, maybe a brown or something, or a tan, and then give everybody a little pint can. It's okay, just kind of splash it wherever you want, you know. Everything's taped. You can't make it a miss. And um, go from there. Could be interesting. It would be very unique. You'd never be able to duplicate that paint job. <laughs> okay, I digress. Um, so the, uh, the plan now is to watch paint dry. Oh, I've longed for those moments. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to uh, uh, wait till this gets tacky. Or I've already touched it once and it's stuck and then I had to wash it off my finger. And uh, yeah. So I'm going to wait for that to get a little tacky. And, uh, and then I'm going to see what else I can tackle while that is uh, curing. Uh, there are a few other things that I feel like doing, and then, then, then there's these days where it says, you know what, this was your, your project to get this done. When you get it done, you're done for the day. It, uh, uh, on the calendar, today is a Friday. So I'm recording this on a Friday, and uh, the time right now is uh, 4.30. It's 16, actually 16.39 is what it is. So... I'm going to give this 15 minutes, 20 minutes to get tacky. I'll read the instructions first. Okay. Don't revoke my man card just because I read the instructions. Okay. Um, so I'm going to read the instructions and uh, see what they recommend for wait time between uh, a second coat. And then I'll put a second coat on it. And I'll see if I think it's covered properly. The first coat actually covered really well. But you can see 
from the spray lines, you can see a slight shading of a dark, it's kind of like the tiger stripe kind of thing, but not quite. It's, it's almost imperceptible, but it is there. So I'm going to paint it a second time, only this time, instead of going left to right, I'm going to go up to down and do a second coat uh, with, with an overlap as, as much as I can without causing any hangers, which is like drips and, and such. And um, then we'll see what it looks like. And if I figure I need to wait for another prerequisite amount of time uh, to put a third coat on, but I'm going to stop at a third. There's no way we need more than a third coat. Two coats may be more than enough, but a third coat may be warranted. I will find out. So um, again, with the magic of, uh, of editing, uh, I'm going to stop the recording now because I'm just going to sit in a chair and watch paint dry and maybe read some posts, that kind of stuff on my phone. Uh, and uh, look at the time, and when I get the right time, I'll touch it. And this time, I'll record putting the second coat on. Oh, I know you're just dying to see that. He's going to paint. We're going to get to see it. Ah! <laughs> Hold yourself back. I know it's so exciting. You know, so I'll warn you, like excitement warning, that uh, this is going to happen. So you don't get too hyper and excited and, uh, and do something silly. Okay, so I'll be back uh, in, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. But in your time, it'll be about 15 or 20 microseconds. See you. Back in a sec. 20 minutes later. Okay, just have to adjust the camera so that you can actually see me painting. Oh, I know, this is just too exciting. And, and brace yourself, everybody. The excitement level is going to go to 11 in just a few seconds here. So, just kind of brace yourself. And actually, I was saying about those uh, tiger stripes, they disappeared. I can't really see them. So, uh, I went left and right like that the first time. I'm going to go up and down this time. This doesn't have a fan pattern, it's a round pattern. I don't like that, but it's what they had. And the color is good, and this paint is supposed to stick to everything. Plastics, wood, metal, what have you. So I figured, okay, well, it'll work. So let's, um, let's get the excitement going in three, two, one. Hold on! Is it good for you too? Yes! 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 Oh! 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 Oh, God! Okay. Okay, one more installment of the exciting episode of Watching Paint Dry. Oh, boy, I'm going to get a million views on YouTube for this one. Tell your friends, you saw it here first. So this is going to be the final coat. It's going to be a, a, like all the others, a pretty thin coat. I don't really think I have to put it on there, but I'm going to just to make sure that it's properly covered. That's it. Any more and I'll have drips. Now we move the camera. Everybody gets seasick. And I'm going to check, got to turn the display back on. Sorry about this. Oh, got to go a little bit down. There we go. Actually, a little bit to the right. There we go. There we go. So, 
Last one. Done. Don't touch it anymore. That's when bad things happen. Okay. Let's move this camera. You know, my friends, normally you take these cans and spray them upside down to clear the nozzle. That's not work on these cans. You just spray for so the can's empty, it's still coming out. Normally you have to like you know, a couple quick shots you get air to clean the nozzle. Who doesn't do that? I don't know. Oh well. Okay. Hold on one second. I'll, I'll cut this part out because there's gonna be a lot of jiggling and noise. Okay, we're back. Um, I just took the camera out of the housing so I can hold it in my hand. Uh, I want to show you this, uh, this uh, silver paint that I bought. thought it would match. It doesn't. Let's turn these lights on. I can get some really good lighting on this if I can. Um, don't know how that's showing up on the camera. I'll find out in the editing. But that was the dark stuff. And to the right, you see a streak of the light stuff. In the middle, that's called aluminum. And maybe that's too bright. I don't know. With these LEDs. But, you know, it really does look like aluminum. Um, I'm surprised. Looks like, you know, it's the paint color said aluminum. And darn if it doesn't kind of look like that. It doesn't look like... It doesn't match the color of paint uh, that was used to paint the airplane. Uh, it, it does actually almost matches it perfectly when you first apply it, but as it's drying, it changes color. And um, yeah, so um, four cans of paint later. I why do I do this? Uh, okay, well that's it. The goal today was to. Um, um, get those painted and get the uh, uh, inspection hole covers painted. Um, I wasn't going to cut the holes open today. I, I was thinking to myself, well, then I'm going to cut the holes open and run the wires and mount the lights. No, I'm going to let the paint cure. It says 24 hours in the can. Um, I read the instructions. Sorry, guys. Please don't revoke my man card like I mentioned earlier. Uh, reading the instructions is, is bad. So, um, yeah. I don't know if this is going to be a, a short video or a long video as I speak right now because it's been started and stopped a bunch of times. So we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll just take it from there. Six and a half hours late. I think I babbled a little too much and uh, that should be it for this video. I will see all of you hopefully. Um, and um, um, yeah, and we'll take care and keep your stick on the ice. Well, if you've sat through all of that, ah, oh, man, congratulations. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe, and please leave a comment. I really do appreciate it. Thanks. Bye-bye.